Hi guys, welcome to Student Superstars Aptitude Classes. In this class, we are going to study problems on permutation. Permutation means arrangement. NPR. NPR is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. See, here I have three chalk pieces. How many ways we can arrange these three chalk pieces into 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2. Two ways. Next, 2, 1, 3 and 3, 1. Two ways. Together, 4. Next, 3, 1, 2 and 2, 1. Totally 6 ways, right? So, this is arrangement 3P2. NPR, n factorial by n minus r factorial. 3P2, 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial, which is 6. Next, coins. When we talk a coin, what is the possibility? What are the possibilities? We will get either head or tail. When we toss, only one coin. So, for one coin, number of possible outcomes, 2. Number of coins, 1, which is 2. Right? So, we will get head or tail. If we toss 2 coins, what are the possibilities? 2. Number of possible outcomes, 2 coins, which is 4. If 3 coins, 2 power 3, which is 8. What are the possibilities? Head, 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 tail, head, tail, tail, H, T, H, tail, 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 H, tail, tail, H, H, okay, tail, head and tail. Okay, these are the eight possibilities. So to find the number of outcomes for coins, two to the power number of coins. Okay, same way, number of matches. What are the possible outcomes for the matches? We'll get win, win or loss or die. There are three possibilities. There is a possibility of draw or match win or match loss. So three possibilities. So when it comes to matches, 3 to the power number of matches. If it is only one match, how many ways we can announce? The results, 3 ways. 2 matches, 3 power 2. Right? So which is 9. So n matches, 3 to the power 9. That's the value. So it depends on n. Next step. If we are throwing dice, right? When we throw one die, what are, now how many number of possibilities? The possibilities are 6. Six ways because possible outcome six one two three four five six six power one is equal to six. If there are two dice, one die six two dice thirty six n dice n. Okay, so this is how we can calculate the arrangement number of ways we can arrange. Next question: How many ways we can arrange the letters of the word arrangement? Arrangement. How many ways we can write the letters? See here, how many number of letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 factorial ways we can arrange. For one chalk piece, one factorial. Two chalk pieces, two factorial, which is 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Right? Three chalk pieces, three factorial. Same way, for arrangement, 11 letters are there. So, 11 factorial divided by number of repetitions. A 2 times, so 2 factorial. R 2 times, 2 factorial. N 2 times, 2 factorial. E 2 times, 2 factorial. So this many number of ways we can arrange the letters of the word arrangement. Okay, next question. How many words can be formed by using the letters of the word signature so that vowels always come together? If it is just any word without this condition, we can say number of factorial divided by the number of repetitions. But here, they are given a condition, vowels are always come together. So what are the vowels here? What are the consonants? Consonants S, G, N, T, R. These are the consonants. What are the vowels? I, A, U, E. These are the vowels. So these vowels should come together. Always these vowels come together, which means I, A, U, E can be, they can be interchanged. 
they can be arrangement within this bubbles but this should come together so now consider this entire set of numbers four numbers as one letter because it always come together so how many number of letters 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 factorial ways we can arrange here how many number of letter vowels 4 so 4 within 4 there can be arrangement so 6 factorial and 4 factorial same logic for example for um, software software number of ways how many ways we can arrange so that vowels always come together s f t w r s f t w r vowels O, A, E. So vowels always come together. This is one letter, two, three, four, five, six. Six factorial and O, A, E, there can be combination. O, A, E, E, A. A, O, E, E, O. Like that, three combinations, I mean three factorial ways we can arrange. So six factorial and three factorial. Okay, next question. How many four digit numbers can be formed by using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which are divisible by 4 with repetition. Okay, so 4 digit numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. When can we say a number is divisible by 4? If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? So here in the first digit with the repetition, so we can use all the numbers. All the five numbers one, two, three, four, five. Then here five. So five into five. And third and fourth position, the last two digits should be divisible by four. So what are the possibilities? If here one is there, then the last digit should be two. If the last but one digit is two, then it should be. 4 and the last but, but one is 3 then the last three should be 2 4 and 4 5 and 2 how many combinations 5 combinations right so the last two digits should be either of these 5 5 into 5 into 5 together 125 ways we can write the number of number of numbers can be formed which are divisible by 4 with repetition by using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 125. Okay. Now, I am going to use the same question but only one change. Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can use 6 also. Now, let's see how many number of ways we can arrange. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, the last two digits should be divisible by 4. If the last part 1 is 1, then the last digit can be 1, 2 or 1, 6. The last part 1 is 2, then the last digit is 4. 3, 3, 2 and 3, 6. 4, 4, 4. 5, 2 and 5, 6. 6, 6, 4. So how many ways? 2, 3, 9 ways. So the last but 2 digits, 9, this digit, 6 ways with repetition. So 6 into 6 into 